Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle and in today's video we're going to take a look at an experiment to learn more about water and forces. We're going to grow a rainbow. You can follow along with this experiment at home and find out more about what you need with this resource on the Twinkle website. Start by cutting some kitchen roll into the shape of a rainbow. Using some coloured felt tip pens, colour 2cm from the bottom with each colour of the rainbow. Fill a bowl with water. Then, holding the rainbow, you need to dip the end of the rainbow into the bowl of water. What happens next? So, how does this experiment work? Well, it's all down to something fancy called capillary action. This is the special term for when water travels up a narrow tube or absorbent material like kitchen roll. Water is made up of tiny molecules. Now we don't think of water as being sticky, but water molecules like to stick to one another. This is a force called cohesion. Water molecules also like to stick to solid objects. This is something called adhesion. Kitchen roll has lots of little holes, which allow it to absorb water. These holes being perfect for capillary action. So as one water molecule is absorbed by the kitchen roll, it pulls the next water molecule along with it, thanks to cohesion. That water molecule pulls the next one along with it, and so on, a bit like a chain. And so the water travels up the kitchen roll. But what will it do to the pens? How will the rainbow grow? Want to extend this experiment? Why not try turning it into a full scientific investigation? First of all, encourage your learners to make a prediction. What do they think will happen at the end of the experiment? During the experiment, see if your learners can record their results. Make sure to use a ruler and measure how far the colours travelled up the kitchen roll. At the end, you can discuss the science behind the experiment. Why does water travel up the kitchen roll? What other materials are good at absorbing water? And what is capillary action? Your learners could also have a go at adapting the experiment, changing the method slightly to see if it changes the results. Does it matter if you use hot or cold water? Does the brand of kitchen roll affect the experiment? Does the brand of pen affect the experiment? Compare the results each time and help your learners form a conclusion about what they found. Want more to do? Learn all about how rainbows are formed with this PowerPoint. Try making a rainbow appear on a sunny day with this experiment. Or take a look at this pack full of easy experiments that children can try for themselves. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Twinkle Key Stage 2 channel.